Howdy, hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver, and welcome back to whatever the hell's on your screen right now. So, you know, I'm just chilling. I'm just hanging out. And I gotta be honest with you, I don't know what it is about, like, YouTube video essays, but, like, I swear to God, it thought to Knight Errant character was the perks, okay? All right, all right, we win. Easy, easy game. Uh, unless Knight Errant wants to screw us and Timeline Random wants to screw us, but that's besides the point. Um, if we don't get screwed by Knight Errant, we win the game. Very easy, very nice. Uh, but I don't know what it is, but, like, I could watch, like, a random-ass YouTube video essay about, like, some shit that I've never heard of or don't care about, and be like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, this is awesome. And I'll be, like, glued to my fucking screen for the whole, like, four hours, and I'll be like, this is the best thing I've ever watched. And I'll re-watch them, too. Like, over and over and over again. But, like, for, like, a movie? I can't do that. Like, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what it is, but, like, movies just, as a medium, do not get me how they used to. Because, like, when I was younger, I could watch a movie and I'd be like, this shit's cool as hell. And if the movie's fucking awesome, or I really like the movie, I can still do that. But if you were like, hey, Webb, you want to hang out? I would be like, oh, hell yeah. If you were like, hey, Webb, you want to go watch a movie? I'd be like, uh... Now, if that movie was, uh, Promarare, I would be like, oh, fuck yeah. But, uh, I don't know, it's just weird, right? Movies are weird, because it's like... I just kind of prefer the, um, whatchamacallit, like, the story that, like, every episode is, like, an hour long and you just go to the next episode, right? Like, a, a Better Call Saul or, like, Breaking Bad sort of thing, where it's, like, it's a long story that is a huge time investment, but you can kind of tackle it at your own pace and you're gonna end up binge- like, here's the thing, I could binge watch it if I- had a streaming service that had access to the final season of Better Call Saul, I would binge that shit on, like, I, I would binge the whole season, like, within a day or two, depending on how long the episodes are, because some of the Better Call Saul episodes were, like, an hour plus, and some of them are, like, four, uh, like, an, uh, like, 50, 40 minutes, right? But, uh, I swear to God, like, there's just something about movies particularly, and they're so awkward, too, because they have to fit like, this big plot and story- Because they have to have a story that takes two hours to get through, but they can't have, like, any of the world building or, you know, setup that other stuff does. Like, you have to be- you have to have a really good pacing for a movie, and a lot of movies just don't have that pacing. A lot of movies just feel like they're hitting- they're, like, checking things off of a fucking box. Anyways, speaking of checking things off of a box, uh, second, Mystery, Dexterity, Takashi, Charisma, Strength. So we've got our seconds here, and we've got everything but knowledge, which is pretty good. Knowledge. You know what I like more than my Lambo and Ferrari? My 80 of them? Is books. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying? I don't know. I, I just like- Movies are weird. Movies are weird and movies are awkward. The only movies that I've seen in, like, the last... Like, the only movie that I saw that I remember being like, oh, hell yeah, I love this, is, like, Promarare, right? Like, I love every second of it. I'm glued to the screen. Every other movie that I watch... Actually, that's not true. There's one other movie that I just thought of. But, like, every other movie that I've seen is just, like, I'm pausing, I'm coming back to it a week later if it's lucky, and it's like, I just don't care. Right, and it's like second monitor content. I don't know what it is. Like, I will unironically sit there just attentive focusing on like some fucking four hour long video essay about something I've never heard about. And I'll be like, this is the good shit. I wish this would go on for the rest of the day. And like for a movie, it's just like, I'm just, like, bored out of my mind. But the other movie that I thought about, there, there's actually two of them. There's actually two of them that I just remembered. There was a horror movie about some guys, like, going on a hike to honor their dead friend. And it had these, like, fucking crazy-ass visual sequences where the main character kept getting, like, 
PTSD of seeing his friend killed in the store over and over and over again. That was fucking awesome. Was that the ritual? I want to say that's the ritual, but it's a really generic name that I have no idea if it's actually correct. But that was fucking cool, okay? That was really fucking cool. And it's like, that was awesome. Like, that, that was a great movie. And then there was another one that was about, like, this blacksmith and this little girl, and then a demon was there, and the blacksmith kept the demon in prison, but then the little girl got tricked by the demon, and so the demon got out of prison. It was a wacky movie, but the, uh, the... It, it was all, like, traditional costumes and stuff, so the demon guy was just, like, a guy in a rubber suit, and it, and it looked great! Like, the... Like, it looked great. That, that was awesome. That was a really good movie, too. Uh, I, I really like that one. I don't remember what the name was, though. I, I'm gonna have to try to find that again, because that was actually a banger. But, like, those are the only three movies that I can think of that I, like, sat my ass down and, like, paid attention and was like, this is the good shit. Like, every other movie, I feel like, is just, like... Because it's so awkward, right? Because you can't go into the detail of a book and you can't have the, like, the progression of a TV series. So it's, like, it's just so weird to have, like, a movie exist. I, I think, like, I'm gonna... This is my most galactic hot take I've ever said, but I think movies are kind of outdated. Because they're not allowed to be long enough to tell, like, a full story. Because if they're too long, then it's just, like, padding, you know? Like, nobody wants to watch, like, a three-hour or four-hour movie. But those fucking... That Lord of the Rings extended cut or whatever that's, like, 20 hours long, that's great. That's really good. Like, actually, though, that feels like an epic adventure from start to finish, and you get all of the nice world-building and the details. You actually feel like you're seeing people travel in a world and talking to, like, crazy things that you couldn't even imagine. Like, I mean, seriously, like, if you never were really exposed to fantasy fiction before, and you're like, wait, so there are these little dudes who are short, and they're like... They're talking to these giant-ass tree people. Like, that's cool. Like, it's not, like, blows your mind. You're, you're never seen anything like this before today. But, like, you know, if you were new to, like, fantasy fiction and you saw, like, hobbits and the, the talking tree guys and the orcs. Is it Uryx? I don't remember what it's called, but the orcs. And, like, you saw the, the what is it, the Eye of Sauron, the fireball eye in the top of the tower. Like, that shit was so cool. That's a, that's a great introduction to fantasy worlds at fantasy world building. It's really good. Crimson Cape, Mermaid's Wordless Sword, Violent Vigil. I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan of here, like, at all. But we can, um... Mermaid's Moment? Ugh. This is not great, actually. I almost want to do Violent Vigil first. But, like, the problem... I think we will. Because, like, we want to do mermaid. Actually, we could do mermaids into ward. Yeah, we can do mermaids into ward. I think that's actually better. But then we're missing out on, like, we could potentially get roads closed. But that's okay, that's okay. But, like, that stuff's so cool. And I really enjoyed, like, the extended kind of Lord of the Rings. I don't even think I've ever watched the regular Lord of the Rings movies. I've just seen the, like, extended cut that's, like, 20 hours long, you know? Like, that shit's crazy. Like, I remember watching that with some family members over, like, an entire week. Like, we would watch it for, like, hours every night. Like, that shit was crazy, and it was great. Um, but I don't know. It's just, like, a two... Like, a two-hour movie, a one-hour and 30-minute movie, a one-hour and 20-minute movie, it's got to do a lot. It, it's got to do a lot. And some of you might remember in a previous episode, I was talking about, like, the uh, the Nazi Pinocchio movie which took me by surprise and it made me cry at the end but that like i still like paused i still got bored like it's kind of weird i bored is the wrong word but i got like distracted I, it wasn't like i was glued to my screen the entire movie it was like well glued to the screen is also the wrong word because like you really don't need like uh like an action thing right like because when I say, like, oh, like, I'm attentive, sitting up straight in the chair, eyes glued to the screen, 
and then I say something like Promare, you're probably thinking, oh yeah, that has like one of the most fucking batshit crazy opening fights where the guys are throwing each other around on the fucking skyscrapers. And, you know, that's, that's insane, that's crazy, and that does keep your attention, and, and then once it slows down, you're interested. But I mean, like, there are definitely some slower movies, like that, uh, like the horror ones that I was talking about. Like, a bunch of cool shit doesn't happen at the start of those. No, it's like, some dudes go hiking in the woods for a while, you know? It's like, that's not exciting at all. That's just, there's just some dudes going hiking in the woods. And then they hike in the woods more. And I was still glued to the screen, because it had, like, I don't know. It just caught my attention, and I was there for it, you know? I didn't have any... Uh, I'm not getting the chainsaw, by the way. I, I refuse. Daga Kotawaru. And actually, by that, I mean, if we get the monkey wrench or the HDF first, I'll make my decision based on that. Let's look who it is. We haven't used the monkey wrench in a while. It's a return to form. But, uh, yeah, no, it's just... It's crazy. It really is. I, I, I don't know. Like, that... But, uh, by the way, that Pinocchio movie was really fucking good. I don't know. Like, it's just... You know, I watched, like, the first 30 minutes of the movie, and I was like, this is really good. And then I got distracted, and I went to go do something else, and I came back, like, 20, 30 minutes later. And then I started watching it again. I wasn't really... Like, I was kind of paying attention. I, I And then, like, near the... Not near the end of the movie, but when things started, like, heating up, I was like, oh, hey, hold up. I'm gonna look over there. And then it ruined... <laughs> It ruined my productivity on gathering palm sap. Palm syrup? In uh, the critically acclaimed blah blah blah. Because that's what I was doing. But, like, I don't know. Like, I actually kind of hate video essays in a way. Because, like, okay, you, you would think to yourself, like, alright, you've got a four-hour video essay about, like, some stupid bullshit. Time to listen to that while you go, you go about your day, right? I like to just watch it <laughs> like I, I, when i got free time i like to just sit down and i watch it and so you know it's saturday right now saturday right now i was i had to run an errand and do something and then i was like i, I was sitting down to eat and i was like all right what am i gonna watch and then it's like oh hey video essay and then like I'm watching this fucking video essay about uh, a show that I've never watched being disappointing and potentially really good, but just kind of disappointing. And I'm like an hour into it. I'm like, oh, I should probably go do the World of Horror because an FC member wants help with Savage tonight, so I should probably be ready for that. Uh, I like EXP. 15 EXP is kind of fucking crazy if you think about it. It's look who it is. This is our first enemy, by the way, right? Now, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, this is bad. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna brace for impact. Don't you dare heal. She healed. She did. She did heal. After I asked her not to, she decided to do it anyways. So we could take uh, one... We could take two to all, I guess, and then guarantee she's dead next turn. Because I'm assuming that we can just, like, kill her. Like, I haven't really been paying attention. I'm just like, Heiko, Monkey Wrench. We're probably fine. Uh, we are not going to fight this guy, though. So we are just going to... Now, I do realize we are on Knight Errant, but it's like I can't really... With this mystery spread, I can't really do much about it, you know? Although, does that change what I want to do here? I'm not entirely sure. Do we just take the burn individual? I actually don't know, because, like, we can't... If we run away from that enemy, right? Like, we're gonna... We're screwed. Like, we're, we're screwed. We're gonna get 11% doom for fun. But maybe we can just justify that? Maybe we can just eat that? Because we could maybe do doomed artist if we're strong enough but these all look like l's you know like the amount of doom that you have to take to make this happen like violent vigil knight errant is just mean because you have to skip the free exp and you have to get the plus six percent doom at the end because it's just not i don't think it's worth it fighting the boss because the boss is like one of the tankiest bosses in the game he's got like 40 health 40 plus health depending on how far you are in the game i think we do 
I think we do Wordless Ward, and then we just accept that we're gonna, like, die, I guess. Like, as, as crappy as that sounds, as much as I don't like that, it's not raining anymore. It's kind of cool. I mean, don't mind if I do! That That's not something that I was expecting, uh, nor thinking about, but that's pretty cool. Uh, what was I saying? I don't, I don't, I just got, like, thrown, like, the Ryoko flashbang, you know? I don't know what the fuck's happening anymore. Anyways. Rotting corpse moment. <laughs> so, it is important to know, I think we're just gonna do it like this. Because we're gonna be able to kill her next turn. And she's not healing, so it's fine. Do a little casual 14 damage as a treat. We got the curious package. I think we're just gonna do it big. This is a horrible, this is horrible right here. Now, we do have everything but knowledge, so we could take uh, leadership here and try to make it happen, but I don't know. I think I would rather just make perception stronger in case we have a perception check that we need to run. We need to put uh, a couple of points into whatchamacallit. We need to put a couple points into strength, so that's what I would like to do if we can. Anatomy horror moment. Three! Oh my god. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be real with you. I think we should just do this. I think we should, because this that, that'll kill, right? Um... I, I'm just, I'm debating it. I'm debating what I want to do here. I, I do not like fucking, I, I do not like three all. I guess we can do it. It's gonna hurt, but it's fine, I guess. I, I'm not a big fan, because obviously we have to, um... Oh god, sure. That's fine. I was gonna use the painkillers anyways. Cause I, w w if we can get minus doom, we have to take the uh, the chance at some point. You sever their ties to this world. Wow, so crazy. It would be so funny if there was like an alternate ending to this if it's like finally it's the last night you have to spend with them and then you just went home like you could just go home like you could just leave completely circumvent everything uh okay this is too much because i'm not fighting that okay heart of darkness pretty bad so here's the thing mystery 2 45 percent doom we've won from worse before which is true However, we are kind of in a bad spot. We need to start getting ending A's if we can. But Violent Vigil is a non-starter. Painting? Maybe. But we'll do Violent Vigil now, just because Violent Vigil is going to be really, really bad, Doom-wise. So we need to see where we're standing later. Akamanto doesn't really matter, because either we kill him or we don't. <laughs> Um, and the minus 10 doom is better than the plus- A minus 4 doom is better than fighting the true form and dodging the 6 doom, right? Like, that's at least what I think. I think we just do it big here, because we have really good sanity regeneration that I have to care significantly less about our sanity, because every time we get into a fight, we're completely fine. So, we- Am I gonna leverage- Am I gonna leverage thingy, the thing, the, the whatchamacallit? What do we got here? Feed the plant? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow this. We're gonna clap, clap, bow, bow. And then we're gonna do the Modest Supper. Clap, clap, bow, bow. And then we're gonna do the Modest Supper. Now what we're going to do... We want to avoid the first fight, because that's 3% doom. Yes, it's really good EXP, but it's 3% doom, so we want to avoid it. So we did the we did the two steps there, so we should be perfectly fine to just hit it big. Whoa, crazy. 
Everybody's gone. I wonder where they went. Okay. Um. Um. Not ideal. So what we'll do is a little bit of this. Can we can we do this? No, we can't. But that's an 87. Like an 87 is not bad. Okay, so we should dodge the, the we we dodged the fight there. I'm pretty sure we did. So now it's just we go here and we're going to cut the plant down because it will be doom neutral kind of it'll kind of be doom neutral i'm not worried about our stamina we've got a long pig steak we've got okay so we're gonna go up a lot of doom which isn't great i would prefer that we you know that's just fantastic i would prefer we did not go up six percent doom here but I think that we kind of got out Doom Neutral, sort of, because we had minus six in that mystery, and then we had, so, so we got basically plus three Doom, like a net plus three Doom, and we dodged a potentially really bad thing with, uh, you know, whatchamacallit? I don't know. Uh, the road's closed, the one I'm always complaining about. So Akamanto or Painting? I feel like we do painting and pop the novel. I'm pretty sure that's what we do. Because our combat's really good. We're, uh, but the thing that I'm worried about for Akamanto is accuracy more than anything. So I want to delay that. So we're And also we're dodging... The reason I like this as well is we're dodging roads closed in the mansion. So just go ahead and use the inspiring novel and we're going to see what happens. So we've read the book. The book has made us very strong. Any enemy that we get here, that would have been so good, getting the sewing kit. The sewing kit would have been amazing, but you can't have it all. Uh, never do this, okay? I don't even have my finger on any of the clicks. Not left click, not right click. Never, ever do this. Event 66, Forest Watcher. If you have Ryoko in your party, Never send her. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's an insult. It's the only bad blue option that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. Because I would, like, again, we have the... We have the long pig steak. We can be a little bit risky. So we need to stay with her. We need to stay with her for a little bit. And then we can go grab the flashlight. But that'll be it. We can't grab anything else. Do that one. Because I, I don't remember what the other one does. We can go here to skip an event. Because she's uh, over there originally. And we're supposed to go here or whatever. But if we skip it with that, we can... Do I want plus one perception? I think I do. I'm more worried about... I'm not worried about combat at all. I'm, I'm never worried about combat here. The fact that we have a kendo helmet is like, yeah, whatever, right? Boss does uh, reason, anyways. Oh, you poor, you you poor animated decapitated head on the ceiling. You have no idea what the fuck you're into. See Iko covered in scars, walking down the hallway with a monkey wrench, an empty bottle, and a kendo helmet. Not even the, the gods could uh, save you from this. Okay, so it's look who it is. Six reason? Oh my god. What if we just killed it on the first turn? Because this is gonna do... Oh my god. So that's gonna do... Um, a lot. That's gonna do 14, I think. Because it would be 5 plus... It would be 10 plus 4. That's a lot of damage right there. Uh, I think this is even more ridiculous, because that would be, um... That would be... 16, allegedly. Allegedly. It will probably do more, if I had to guess. Because the game is weird like that. Now, um, let's block first. And just, like, attack. Get, get, get some basic attacks off real quick. 
This is just gonna do 11, right? Like, that. I think that's fine. Like, we, we you do 11, and then we can... Oh, we took stamina there. Spooky. Okay, goodbye. I don't even have to pay attention to this. You're, you're dead. That's a lot of damage. And hey, we didn't take 8 million doom, so that was fun. And we even have this, so we can heal. Look at that. It's look who it is. It's it's looking pretty good. Then we can get uh, discipline and strength. What we would like is one more level up, which we will definitely get. And then we can get dexterity to seven, I think. And that'd be pretty good. So we got very lucky, admittedly. We got very lucky. I'm just gonna use the long pig steak, that's fine. I'm not- we're never getting charisma to eight, so that's okay. Game could throw three charisma on my lap and I would be like, nah, nah, nah. Ooh! Failed a strength check, okay. Okay! Okay. Pretty spicy. Uh, admittedly, we might be able to kill this ghost pretty decently, but no. I would rather not. So we are gonna get the bad ending here, but that's okay, because we're getting minus 10 doom guaranteed, so... The thing that I'm worried about is panic, and uh, that's pretty much it. I, I'm not worried about anything else. I am worried about my accuracy. I am not worried about my damage or my combat, even though we did just go down two health. Why, why are we taking, like, 8 million damage, by the way? Why, why is every enemy just gonna kill us in one hit now? Like, I is is this something that the enemy is like? They were like, hey, let's let's get together and just do a little trolling. Like, yeah, I don't mean to I don't mean to be rude or anything, but like, it's very very mean of you to say like, hey, what if we just you know did a little bit of trolling? Do more fearful, love that. Panic again! Wonderful. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned about this. Just a tad. We have old scars too, by the way. I'm pretty sure, right? No, we have Night Errant. Why, why is our max health 10? I'm not getting the, the thing that gives you minus one damage, because that's, that's too scary right now. Do we just go in with nine and hope for the best? Probably, yeah. Nice. We're not Mimi. She's not Mimi. Who could it be? You can't help but smile. The buried witch takes her toll. You suddenly feel much better. Uh, 50%, huh? Oh, that was almost bad. So we're just gonna do this until the end of time, I think. Yeah, we're just gonna do that until the end of time. And by that, I mean, uh, I think we can just go now. We can just just fucking kill him. We can just fucking kill him, yeah. It's pretty good. We can just, we can just, uh, uh-oh, time skip, huh? That's okay, we have this. It's look who it is! Alright, we're good. So if the dexterity check is first, I'm sad, because then that means that we can't do the thing. We're gonna get 10 EXP on the first clear of whatever it is, so... We don't really have to worry about level ups. Currently we're taking minus 6, minus 3, if all the checks are there, so uh, I guess I'll just do stamina, and then stamina again for fun. Now, of course, that's, I mean, I forgot the lighthouse, so it doesn't really matter, right? Oh, shit, it matters. Oh, shit, it matters a lot. Uh, uh whoops. I think we might have a chance of losing because of time skip. One yike. I'm just gonna go entirely by vibes. I'm not even gonna think about it, okay? Entirely by vibes. If I succeed this, then we get to have a dexterity. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, okay. So we did... This one first, this one second. True and real. Okay, I think we won. Quick thinking moment. So now we can only take minus three, minus three. And we have way more health than we need, so we're completely fine. You can't help but smile, but you're very scared about look who it is. Damn, our accuracy is so bad. I mean, this will kill. 
Like, that's, that's a lot of damage. He, he never stood a chance. Just don't misclick? I would never misclick. Uh... You? Huh, it was Mad Janitor. I honestly didn't remember. Okay, little, little quick, little, little quick. 30 minutes? Little quick, um, just a little World of Horror run as a treat, you know, just a, just a quick one. For fun. Little, little knight errant, because the game hates me. Um, if we didn't get hit by time skip, that would have been very comfy. So, the fact that we got hit by time skip is just like the game saying, Hey, you thought this was gonna be easy? Ha, 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 But, uh, anyways, stay safe out there, have a good one, bye.